Hi guys, I'm Dr. Mark Chang, and I wanted to recap a couple of points about foam rolling for you. Um, they're what I call the three S's about foam rolling. You want to be able to go slowly, so take your time. Uh, think about foam rolling as a chance for you to become aware of your trigger points and where there may be restrictions in the muscle bed. If you go too fast, you're going to gloss over them, so take your time. Go slowly. The second S, small. If you roll a big swath of muscle very uh, quickly, you're again not going to have the chance to really become aware, nor is the roller going to have enough of a chance to penetrate the muscle bit. You want to give yourself enough time to relax, and you want to let your brain really become aware of where that tension is. Again, trigger points can lie at any part of the muscle. They can be very superficial, which means close to the skin, or they can be deeper, close to the bone. So going in a three or a four inch increment allows you to really become aware of where that, those trigger points may lie. The second thing is soft, or the, I'm sorry, the third point is softness. So as you're rolling, you really need to make sure that as you're taking your time to go over the roller, relax the muscle. There are gonna be a lot of times when you're swearing up and down that you're, no, 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 I'm really relaxed, I'm really relaxed. But then when you actually try and shake the muscle out or shake the leg out or shake whatever part out, that's in contact with the roller and really relax and breathe, you notice that, wow, there were trigger points in there that you weren't aware of before. So for example, as you're going over the vastus lateralis, that muscle that's on the 45 outside line of your thigh, when you go over it, take your time, move in very small increments, relax the body, relax the neck, wiggle, the, wiggle around a little bit. Search for parts of your body that are tense and let them out, especially the leg that's on top of the roller. Shake it out, keep it loose. And as you're going over those points that suddenly give you a bit of challenge or give you pause or make you go into that fight or flight mode, back off just a hair, go right to the edge of where you feel that intense feeling, and then train your body to relax into it. Let the breathing be slow, even, and deep, allowing your body to relax down into it, allowing the muscle bed to open up, and then move on. And then as you move on, again, Make sure that you progress in increments, nice and slow, and again, small increments, slowly and soft. So as you apply those three S's in your foam rolling, let me know how that goes. And for more information, please check out drmarkchang.com.